Warning, the hidden camera stunts in the show are performed by trained professionals. Do not try this at home. What up, Walk the Prankers? Today we fired a babysitter who's going to help me feed my little cute and cuddly kitten named Muffin. This is my, uh, Maya, this is my Maya. wife. Nice and to meet you, thank Bailey. you so much for coming. This is Amaya, and she thinks she's here for just your typical babysitting job. Hmm, sorry, Amaya. She's really excited. We just got a new kid, and she likes to play with her. Oh, yes. Okay. And, um... Don't forget to feed her, though, OK? OK. OK. We'll play with it. Bye-bye, sweetie. Now that mom and dad are gone, time to give Amaya a little backstory on Muffin. My kitty is a temper. Sometimes she, she nips. Three months. Oh, where is it? She's so adorable. Is Want to help me feed her? Yeah, let's see. Okay. Her name is Muffin. Aw. Well, did you name her yourself? I named her after the baked goods. I know, right? <laughs> we have to make sure she eats, because she's, like, really thin. Mm. But we have to, to give her space, because if she sees her feet, she won't come in. So Amaya thinks Muffin will be coming out of this door, but Bailey's kitty is going to need a little more room. So, so what do you do? You bring her we in? We go here. You can ring the bell. We just have to stand right here, so that way she can't see you. It'll take a minute. Muffin! Muffin! <laughs> Muffin! 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 Weeks. You were amazing. amazing. How were you feeling when it burst through the door? Um, I thought it was like a robber. So I was scared. <laughs> you were so great. Oh, are you gonna like ever feed kittens again? I think I'm done with cats. <laughs> cats. I'm allergic anyway. I just lost the prank. Woo! Yeah, yeah, Thank you. Right here, you're out. Aren't you gonna eat, Herman? Nah, it's a working lunch for me. I'm almost done typing up my history report. I'm on page 10. Oops, I'm back to page one again. Why, what happened? My computer just crashed. No biggie, it does that every five minutes or so. I hope you saved what you were working on. Of course I did. It's all up here. Can you imagine if they built a computer that didn't always shut off and delete everything? They did, Herman. And it's called Every Computer But Yours. Have you guys heard of this Eddie Madding kid? Oh, yeah, he's that new kid who just transferred here. Yeah, he's all anyone is talking about. Did you guys hear he has a mouth, bro? A what? You know, a nostril neighbor. A crumb catcher. A nose garden. A snot mop. Come on, Herman. He has a mustache. Oh, a booger forest. I heard he started growing it in fourth grade. I heard he shaves it off every morning and it grows back by second period. <laughs> I heard waitresses never offer him the kids' menu. All the girls are making such a big deal about him. It's just a mustache. So what? I could grow a mustache. <laughs> 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 What's so funny? Oh, come on, Captain Peach Fuzz. You can't grow a mustache. Y yes, I can. I, I just choose not to. I don't have the time. Do you guys think I could pull off a mustache? Let's see. All right. What do you think? I like it. Hey, look. Here comes the stash now. El Chico Bigote. El Chico Bigote! El Chico Bigote! El Chico Bigote! Whoa, that was so awesome. 
don't believe it. Even our own Bailey is mustache crazy. You're just like every other girl in school. I am not. Bailey's boy crazy. I am not. I just think it's awesome that there's a new kid in school. I heard he's in our science lab. <gasps> really? Are you serious? Yeah. You totally don't have a crush on him. Okay, you guys are just jealous that there's someone more mature than you at school. Uh-huh. We're mature. You guys are so not mature. We so totally are mature. You guys are like the least mature people I know. We're more like the most mature people you know. Wipe yourself, Herman. You're not helping our argument. <laughs> hey, Billy. Uh, hi. Mrs. Frapp said you volunteered to show me around school today. Uh, yeah, let me just grab my bag. Let me get that. Hey there, Chance. Hey, Mr. Dingley. Hope you didn't have a big breakfast this morning, because we're dissecting rats. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, there were two pukers in the uh, last period. Me being one of them. Anyway, uh, there's going to be a little change of plans, and you will have a new lab partner today. What? But I've always been lab partners with Bailey. Yes, well, Bailey's doing the right thing and showing mustache around, so I'm going to team you up with Carl Kinnaman. You want me to be lab partners with clumsy Carl? Hey, Chance, did you hear the good news? OK. Oh, that's where I puked. Are you guys ready to walk the prank? We are. Welcome to our fake science lab. We fired some people to come assist for the day. And guess what we're doing in lab? Dissecting rats. They have no idea that the rat we're dissecting is a puppet. <laughs> And they really have no idea that the mama rat's a little bit overprotective. And I'm gonna be one angry mama. <laughs> Let's walk the prank. Dissecting rats in school gave us a great idea for a prank. It's a no-brainer. Rats and pranks go together like hitting cameras and screaming. So today, we're here to prank our volunteer teacher's assistant, Christina. And she has no idea she's being filmed. Um, this is my advanced science after school class. and. You're a fan of science? That's actually kind of my worst subject in school. Yeah, we maybe you'll like this then. So maybe, maybe we can get you back. We'll pull you back. Yeah, with maybe. This one. Yeah, I don't think she'll be coming back after this prank, Uncle Will. What we've been working on, we've been talking about the anatomy of the of the rat. And so I got some king rats and their babies. And so we're gonna be doing dissecting. But it's just gonna be one. Look at you. You already get queasy. Are you queasy? I think I'll be okay. You think you'll be okay? You sure? Yeah. All right. If anyone gets queasy, you included, I'll go out and grab something so that we can get it cleaned up. Okay. All right. We've got a couple of pukers here, so. Um, all right, class, just like we talked about, we're going to be doing a dissection. I told you guys, I promised, and so it's going to happen. So right now, uh, Chance and Bailey are my teacher's assistants for the week, and so they're going to be the ones helping me. You can come right up here. So Christina seems to be settling in nicely as Uncle Will's assistant, but she hasn't met us yet. This should be fun. So, Chance, Bailey, I want you guys to come up here. Hey, everybody else, come on, come on, come on. So are you like a rat expert, or? No. I'm kind of glad they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Who likes dark meat? <laughs> yeah, I think they got this from a school cafeteria. It's probably better than what they serve. <laughs> Not a meat <laughs> If I find something inside, can I keep it as a souvenir? It's a rat, Bailey. Not a pinata. But now that we've made Christina sufficiently uncomfortable, it's time to unveil our rat. All right, so all right. I'm so excited. So I'll show you now. Ew. So from the thorax down cool. the abdomen to the pelvic area. So I want you to start right here, Chance, with the cut, with your incision. Okay. Right there to thorax. So what do you think the chances are that this rat is still alive?
is a prank. <laughs> Wait, can I touch it? Yeah. It's not real. Yeah, it's not real. It's <laughs> real. Okay. That's dusty yeah, inside. Dusty inside. Dusty. Okay. Look at dusty. Let's do the rest. I just want the prank. Woo! <laughs> So we want to make the decision right here in the thorax. So we did this prank a couple of times, and you have to see Kiana's reaction to our mama rat. Shut up! It's the mama! It's the mama! It's the mama! And we haven't seen Kiana since. Bye, Kiana. <laughs> <laughs> nice job on the prank, guys. Who knew rats had rhythm? <laughs> I'm into his little rat dance. Coming up next on Walk the Prank. You know, I, I've had enough of this. Stop! Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa, 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 whoa. Frustrated like this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just don't know. Way too far. Just, All of you guys no. going way too far. I agree. Warning, the hidden camera stunts on this show are performed by trained professionals. Do not try this at home. Earlier, we introduced our cute kitten, Muffin, to Amaya. Muffin! Muffin! <laughs> Muffin is still gonna come through the door, only this time, it won't be a cat. What do you do? I work at a theme park currently. Ooh, um, I'm a cool. ride operator. Are you one of those guys that says you can't ride this ride if you're lower than this line? I am one of those guys. How do you sleep at night? <laughs> if if a child or in any individual is not tall enough, it can seriously endanger their lives. Blah, blah, Safety, blah, compliance blah, 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 blah. Okay. My favorite baked goods are muffins. Ooh, really? Yeah. Wow. That's What's what your favorite I named. Kind of That's what I named my baby muffin. Really, your cat? Yeah. <laughs> You want to help feed my baby? Sure. Muffin. Muffin. Muffins. Muffin. Here, Muffin. Come here. Come here, little baby. Wonderful teeth, Muffin. Come here. Come here. Hi, Muffin. <laughs> She's really nice. Nice Muffin. <laughs> what were you Biggest cat thinking? I've ever seen. <laughs> How are you feeling right now? Oh, this is insane. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> I just lost the plane. <laughs> Don't talk to me. I'm almost done with Mr. Dingley's history project. Just one more line in. Oh, cheese pickles! Your computer is ridiculous, Herman. Where's Chance? He spent all morning trying to make himself a mustache. <laughs> what? He cut some of his hair off and glued it to his face. He thinks it's gonna make girls like him. This is gonna be a disaster. El Chico Bigote. El Chico Bigote! El Chico Bigote! Chico bigote, bigote. El chico bigote. El chico bigote. El chico bigote, bigote. El chico bigote. Big mistake that did not work at all. Can't blame you for trying. But can you not sit here right now? Because, like, you know, I don't want everyone to start making fun of us, too. Oh, no, no, no. No, I totally get it, yeah. Oh, man, did it crash again? Hold on. Sometimes this works. Herman, you've got basically every computer virus known to man. It's fine. All you have to do is shut down all the windows every time you want to type something. I honestly don't even notice it anymore. What's that sound? Oh, it just means it's working really hard. Herman, what have you been doing with your computer to get all these viruses? I don't know. Just normal computer stuff. Whoa, I just want to gift card. All I have to do is send them my email and password. Oh, it's neat. A file is downloading. It must be the gift card. Welcome to Walk the Prank. Here's the crazy prank we have planned for you guys today. We've offered a free computer upgrade to some real people. I'm going to be playing a computer techie. 
But what they don't know is that we're gonna replace their computer with a fake one and destroy it right in front of their very own eyes. Let's walk the prank. So for this prank, we created a computer repair store at our local mall and rigged it up with cameras everywhere and some other special surprises. And Uncle Will is playing the store manager. Hi, welcome to Screen Savers. I'm Will. How you doing? How you doing? And here's our target now, meet Taylor. And that's his friend Christine, who's in on the prank. And to help us out, she sent us photos of Taylor's computer beforehand so we can make an exact copy of it. Everything except for the broken screen. So here's Taylor's computer. And now our copy. You can't tell the difference, can you? Next, she convinced Taylor to bring in his computer for a free system upgrade. He's trying to get the free repair, sir. Yeah, yeah, totally. Got two laptops. Can I ask you how my service has been so far? It's, it's been, been good. good. Great. How would he know, Uncle Will? He just got here. It was hard yeah. to find a place. Like, it's like there's no sign. Of course there's no sign, Taylor, because this is not a real store. Our crew only put it together three hours ago. How'd you break this? It came like that. So you buy broken computers? <laughs> well, you know what? He just started, needed it. He had a desktop, right. so. All right, um, it'll be about 15 minutes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take them back 15? and then. Yeah, about 15 minutes. That's all okay. we need. We can have so them right over Yeah, it's gonna be quick. Now, Will is taking Taylor's laptop into the back to hand it off to our expert repair guys. Now, remember, everything we're about to do to Taylor's computer is really being done to our copy. His real computer is in the back, safe and sound. How's my service so far? <laughs> if I got my manager on the phone, you guys, would you say that I was helpful? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, man. <laughs> so now we're all set. Chris. Yes? Got yours yeah, ready. That was really quick. I mean, I, I did it, and I'm certified in this type of stuff. But just to make sure Taylor thinks his laptop is in safe hands, we bring Christine's out in perfect working order. Looks good. Great, great. Thank you. Uh, tell people about us, please. Like, we do want people to come here. OK. So now that me, a 13-year-old, is done fixing Taylor's computer. All right, Taylor. Let's begin by seeing how he feels when his free upgrade starts to get a little pricey. So this will be a $75 charge, because we did we fixed the screen for you? No, 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 no. I didn't ask for that, though. I came and in for free yeah isn't, yeah, isn't it free? No, it will be a $75 charge for fixing the screen. How's my service so far? Close your stuff, Doug. What? What the? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, whoa, whoa. Let's get okay, Chris, whoa, Chris, okay, Chris, okay. Chris, 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 Chris. Uh, Let me look at it. Hold on, hold on. We'll get it fixed hold up on. in no time. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do? What did you do to it? I did the exact routine that we do. Don't blame me. You, you know I don't like it when I get blamed. It's smoking, though. What did you do to it? Man, that's like uh, electrical smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And everyone knows, Taylor, where there's smoke, there's fire. Dang. Oh, like 25, $25. I'm gonna just charge What's you. What's going on? I'm gonna man. just charge you $25, man. We did the upgrade for the Dang. screen. Let me see it. No, you turn it on. Like, is it working? I mean, I got stuff on there, man. I got. There's only one thing worse than an ungrateful customer, and that's a computer repair kid that can't handle the pressure. You know, I've, I've had enough of this. Stop! Whoa, 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 whoa! Please, 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 please. Please. I'm mad. No, he, 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 he gets frustrated like this. What are you doing? He gets frustrated like this. Why did you do that? I'm sorry, I've been having a tough day. If you had had a good computer, it wouldn't have broke. What's wrong with this company? What's wrong with this company? Why did you do that? Hey, I'm hey, sorry. Let's go. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Yo, uh, no, no, let me check. Let me check. Listen, listen, I'm man, sorry. I'm sorry. Your phone's going way too far. Just, All of you guys are no. going way too far. I agree. I agree. That's a hey, now it's a tablet. I'm sorry, man. No. I I'm going to waive the whole fee. I'm sorry, man. Man, I'm going to call the police or something because you got. That costs way more. How was how was that service? $75. How was our service? Dang. Your service was terrible, man. It was terrible. Dude. Well, I mean, we're also mad, too, because you just walked the prank. You're on a hidden camera prank. Whoa! Whoa! Taylor! Taylor! I let you boy, man! I let you boy! Taylor! You are awesome, bro. You are awesome. <laughs> That's not my computer, I guess. It's not. It's not. Your computer is safe. Yep. It was a lot of fun, man. I, you guys got me. You got me real good. I just walked the prank. Woo!
do that. Hey. How's my service? <laughs> Never trust anything that's offered for free. Yep, it'll always blow up in your face. Herman, looks like your computer's working much better. Yep, I fixed it. Really? How? I got my mom to buy me a new one. Can you fix my car? Hey, Bailey. Hey. What's wrong? I don't want to talk about it. How's your boyfriend, Eddie, doing? Ugh, who cares? What happened? He shaved off his mustache. Mm, so that's why all the girls at school were crying today. Such a senseless waste. Why did he do it? He said he was tired of people only liking him for what's up here. And he wanted people to like him for what's down here. So turns out he's a super cornball. <laughs> Oof. What does his naked upper lip look like? Nothing to write home about. Well, I think we all learned something here today. Yeah. yeah. Don't be jealous of what other people have. No. We learned that most people with facial hair are just trying to hide their weird looking faces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. What? I have a weak jawline. Stop looking at me.